want to do it. Check this out, I mean, I, I think this is something anybody who's a farmer would understand because a lot of the people who I've met and we've spoken about Bitcoin, for instance, in the early days, they understood the value of Bitcoin, but there was also kind of like the feeling that they're too late for the for the good buy, but it would be a solid investment to invest into mining equipment and start mining Bitcoin and sell it. I know all about it. Clearly, because it clearly has a value. And I've seen many people uh, in 2017 take that up and lose a terrible amount of money, like 100% of what they invested in. Uh, in 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 those schemes because it's always a better idea to just hold and stake your crypto instead of uh, selling it uh, for equipment which is what mining used to be <clears throat> now if you mining was good so in 17 mining was really yeah. good in 17 yeah, 18 yeah. and then but if you if you're the kind help. of uh, if you, you if if you're that kind of a guy who wants to hold your own tokens so that you, you know you're safe, you don't want to sell them, but still the idea of mining is interesting and, and ma making more of the token that you have is an interesting concept, then HEX is the thing because that what the token does is you can transform it into a HEX printing machine within the contract and have it create you more hex over time so it's it's like planting an apple tree or something it, it creates value for as long as you have it staked it's it's amazing people are just i mean of course the 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 mining is is a really <laughs> tough gig uh specifically due to the overhead it takes you know if you buy a machine for, I think they were going for like eight or ten thousand dollars last time I looked. If you buy a miner for that much, yeah. it's going to take you, you know, you'll be lucky if you can pay it off. If you have an energy at, as low as seven kilowatts an hour, you're going to be lucky if you can pay it off. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, but the hex miner, the hex miner doesn't uh, consume any electricity. Yeah, I mean, you've got only, your your start and end cost. It uh, it only consumes <clears throat> what every one of us has uh, equally little, which is the the time that we have on the planet, and that's why it's so difficult for people to stake because it's really hard uh, to send money to yourself in the future. Another like another really powerful now. thing, in my opinion, what what we should really push is a lot of people have their crypto on an exchange that is a Huge really mistake. really dangerous thing to have yeah. i know a lot of people who i know have that and they they never what do you mean i can send it to another wallet i tell everybody get their crypto off of the exchanges they can literally turn you off tomorrow if they want and no, they will you know exchanges are about to go bankrupt all of them and if you have your cryptos on exchanges you're gonna be restructured into the new system which means that you're not going to get any of your old tokens back to yourself you're going to get some funny money from the central government so if if you hold any crypto that you plan on holding on exchanges you need to withdraw that shit today it takes 10 minutes to open a fresh wallet on metamask just write down 12 words and uh, start sending your shit into your wallet that you have control over the keys of. Yeah, non-custodial like, wallets are really, really harmful, in my opinion, to the crypto industry. Yeah, and they're don't not get me wallets wrong. at all. They're accounts. They're like yeah. user accounts where you have an account where you get to beg for your money when something goes bad. Yeah, I, I when I first started, I did the same thing. I held all my all my crypto on on Coinbase and Gemini, and and you know it wasn't until I I found out that oh hey you know that's probably not a good place to leave that stuff considering I don't have the keys. Yeah, yeah. 
No, la, jo, the last one, the uh, last one of the uncredited investors to be paid. You're the last one in line when that shit starts to go down. But either way, back to the question, I do think that if you did propose it as a, as a Ethereum-based CD, it would it would make sense to a lot of people. And like Finbear said, it's like planting an apple tree. You know, you plant one this year and you plant one next year and you plant one, you know, the year after that. And every year they're going to be producing in a, in, a, in a linear fashion, I guess you could say. Yeah. And it's a good... Uh good metaphor because also the price of apples varies from season to season so <clears throat> so there's always the the risk of apples costing less next year but more than uh, this year the year after you know so the prices may go up and down but the good thing is that at least every year you're gonna have more apples Very good point. Yeah. 